So the Super Pack is an extremely short takeoff and landing utility aircraft. It's been designed to access some of the most inaccessible parts of the world. So it's taken over seven years to design this aircraft. Uh, it's cost over $10 million to develop to date. Uh, so the new Super Pack has a much more powerful engine, a lot more thrust, uh, and it's capable of flying in hot and high environments. So uh, tropical conditions, uh, high mountain uh, passes. Uh, primarily the Super Pack will be sold into places like Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, Nepal, places that have uh, isolated communities that they need to access. So NZ Aero is uh, currently building five aircraft for the coming year. Uh, but we will be ramping up and uh, we'll be looking at around 12 aircraft in the, in the near future. NZ Aero currently employ around 60 staff. Uh, we'll be looking to move up to around 80 full-time employees. So the topography of New Zealand has played a big part in the development of the aircraft. So we are predominantly a, a mountainous country and uh, landing our aircraft from top dressing have been landing on hillsides, uh, rough terrain, this topography is also shared with countries like Indonesia and Papua New Guinea, uh, which is, uh, require that ability to take off and land on short field strips uh, with high gradients. The 750XL2 is an extremely uh, durable aircraft. It's easy to maintain and repair in the field, uh, which sets it apart from other aircraft in the marketplace. It's been designed to be repaired uh, with minimum tools. The aircraft can maintain performance at high altitude. Uh, it really is a utility aircraft, uh, like a 4x4 of the sky. So it's transporting goods uh, in and out of villages uh, in Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, for example, Nepal, uh, becomes a lifeline for those villages. Uh, so being able to carry produce uh, day in, day out, depending on what, uh, without being limited by the temperature of the day, is, is huge, a huge benefit uh, to the operators. Uh, the aircraft can also be configured for a lot of other roles, such as firefighting, which is a, a big issue worldwide, uh, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, so having a, a firefighting platform that can carry 2,500 litres of fire retardant is a, is a huge plus. Uh, locust brain is another global issue at the moment, uh, as is geophysical survey work. We are New Zealand's only mainstream aircraft manufacturer, um, so it's huge. You know, the, the 50 odd staff we have on site here are really the only people in New Zealand making certified aircraft. It perhaps bridges a gap between where some of the, you know, the, the traditional, you know, whether it be just purely cargo or purely passenger or purely agricultural or even say firefighting type work, uh, it does quite a good job of all those roles.